All right, guys, today is the second day of the Show Me State youth season. And uh, a young man on the property took a deer. And uh, my congratulations goes out to him and his father. Today we have kind of a southeasterly wind. I'd say mostly sunny skies. Highs in the 50s. The thing I'm not liking about about this whole deal is we get closer to uh, the firearm season, which the November portion of the firearm season opens this Saturday. We're looking at temperatures around 70. I mean, come on. I'm getting tired of this heat when I hunt deer. <laughs> Don't want to forget that orange. Happy to comply. I got some really nice pictures of some seriously cool turkey. Bushnell trophy cam. And I'll buck on there too. I should let you take a look at those while I'm getting my release and my gloves on. It's going to be about 3.30 here when we finally get settled in. Wind's dying down a little bit. We just ended daylight savings time, so we lost an hour of hunting light here. So it's going to be like, we've got to probably a good two hours sit, so we get settled in. But before I do, I want to show you something. I, this has been worth its weight in gold to me in bow hunting. Okay, I don't know why you can see that. What that is, is it's a... Uh,
for about 10 minutes and finally filtered off to the west. But I can hear those raccoons down there fooling around in the area that deer carcass, so I better get down there. Alright guys, I'm down for a little checking of the bush now here. I have a feeling that we got some of that action from those deer on the camera here. I can only hope that I got the shot. <laughs> Turn that off here. I got an idea here. Been wanting to do this for some time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go get that deer and put it over here. I'm going to gut it right in front of the trail camera and that's going to call some coyotes in and that'll make some good pictures too. Much harder at night to do than you might think. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna go straight to the to the deer and maybe backtrack a little bit. See what good blood looks like. <laughs> On second thought, I am finding some much better than that one I flung an arrow at a while back. Yeah, this is good blood. Yeah, look at that right there. Yeah. Yep, that's what a good blood trail looks like, Matt. You need to make those more often. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty thick. Happy to be seeing what a good blood trail looks like. Maybe I better call my wife and tell her that I got Bambi. Now I've followed this long enough to be able to see what good blood looks like. I mean, it is just all over the place. I will, I mean, look at that. Like I said, I know where it is. I'm watching it from the tree stand while I was finishing my hunt. Look at that. Deer's right there. Let's go up and have a look. Oh, that must have been where it was bleeding out. There's the deer. Get around here and give you a good look at it. I don't see the arrow though. Never know, it might be underneath. I think you have to give you a better look at it from the house, maybe. Now I flipped it over and there's no arrow on the back side. So I guess it's gonna be one of these deals where I have to find it later. Alright, we got her all dressed out here. It was a female. So we're gonna have some fun here. I got the gut pile right in front of the Bushnell trail cam. And go ahead and arm that baby and head on out. See what kind of pictures we get next time. And guess what? The arrow pretty much popped right out, I'd say just after I stuck her.
definitely got good blood on it for once. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna see if I can cram myself into the camera here. <laughs> Had an awesome day in God's creation. The Lord has blessed this family with a beautiful deer to provide nourishment for us, to provide time for me to be out in His creation and enjoying His beauty. Now, you've already heard the story, so I don't need to tell it to you again, but. Uh, I think I effectively conveyed what happened from the tree stand. The only regret I have is that uh, I just didn't have the camera rolling. I mean, it happened so fast, and you know how it is sometimes when you when you're self videoing your hunts. Uh, everything comes together, and sometimes you don't have a chance to really do it justice. But uh, all you guys out there who do your own videoing, I know you know what I'm talking about. And it's even so much more thrilling to me when it's a bow kill. And uh, it was just really a great day. I want to thank you for tuning in to watch the Outdoorsman by Design channel here on YouTube. And as always, happy hunting to you. <laughs>